have at it and roast me like I've never been roasted before. I don't know if that sounds right. What's up everybody, it's Carl, aka Carl Trump Tech. I'm gonna make this video really quick and this video is going to be for the people who are kinda thrown off by the negative vibes around them. Whether it's, you know, like an upperclassman who is kinda talking them down, section leader, drum instructor, just kinda like just making things very not fun for you, all right? So if this is you, all right, first of all, what you need to do is do something that's incredibly difficult. All right, and that difficult thing is blocking out all this noise, blocking out all this bullshit so that you can focus on getting good. And the thing is, you have to be so focused on getting good, on the process, all right, of practicing, performing, getting better every single day, enjoying the activity, enjoying just playing eight on a hand, enjoying playing acts and taps, enjoying playing roll exercises, enjoying the fact that maybe you're not that good yet and you're getting better every single day. If you focus on those things, I promise you, all the bullshit, all the noise, any, any kind of negative stuff that gets thrown your way, like you'll really literally just see it as noise. Like, you know, you just heard some cars honking and stuff like that. What was I doing? I was focused on talking to you guys here in this camera. So literally, the only thing in front of me right now is the camera. Yeah, there's city noise, there's like, you know, birds chirping or whatever, but that's like, as long as I'm focused, again, it's just noise. Right? So you gotta treat all the negativity and the BS in your life the same way. Because that, that's all it really is. And the only time it affects you is when you internalize it and let it affect you. Like literally like, you know, if somebody says like, you suck and you're like, all oh, right, I, I, I do suck. <laughs> you know, and let it hurt you, okay? And the thing is, I mean, yeah, you can be realistic. Yeah, like if somebody says you suck, you don't have to be like, no, I'm good. You know, like you could be like, yeah, I know I have a long ways to go. I know, uh, you know, I'm still a beginner and I'm still learning. I'm still getting good, but you know, I'm very happy with where I'm at, I am and I'm very excited because I'm going to be good in the very near future. Like you can literally look at it like that. Be realistic, but at the same time, be very positive with it, with it and not kind of like let it get you down. Like, you know, because you're not good, now you're a bad person, whatever, right? Like that's the kind of thing that kind of hurts, right? So you need to like learn to not internalize any kind of negative statement against you, all right? And I, I'm not sure who said it, maybe it's Eleanor Roosevelt, I know, but it's something along, like they said something along the lines of, nobody has the ability to hurt you without your permission. So you literally have to like say, yeah, it's okay to hurt me, and then like that's how you get hurt. But if you say, no, 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 like that shit ain't gonna hurt me, then you won't get hurt, all right? Is this something that's easy to do? Of course not, right? This is something that I practiced you know, for many, many years, every single day, because, you know, yeah, I get, I, I do get negative, you know, vibes thrown my way. I get made fun of, like, that's an easy one. Like my, you know, between my friends, like we all joke around with each other, we all make fun of each other. And yes, there was a time when I was offended with almost every single joke that was thrown at me. And I internalized it, you know, like even something like, you know, Carl, you're short, right? And I internalized that and like, like what, what the hell, like I'm not that short, no, 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 like get really defensive and like really take it personal, okay? But I've learned to really like block all that stuff, not really necessarily block it all out, but really like just embrace it. Like as long as I know who I am, as long as I know that, you know, like even if I'm short, like I know I'm still cool, like then it doesn't matter what anybody says. Does that make sense, right? So it's, it's, a, it's a constant discipline, it's a constant skill set that you have to practice, just like drumming, right? To not allow the negativity, to not allow any kind of, you know, people making fun of you to affect you in any kind of negative way. And pretty much if you learn that skill, you can walk through life and basically like all this stuff that's throwing you, it just bounces off you. Like, you know, Carl, you're short, boom, you know, like, you know, or, you know, you suck, boom, like Carl, like, you know, like you're the worst drum instructor ever, boom, like it doesn't matter, all right? Um, because I know who I am, I know what I'm about, I know what my shortcomings are, I'm very, and I'm very honest with it, but at the same time, I know I'm trying to, I'm striving to be better every single day, and that's all that matters, and that's how I'm able to block out all the negativity, and that's how I can treat everything else as noise. I have a contest to tell you about, and it's on Instagram, so check it out. Here's what you'll win. You'll win two, not one, two pairs of drumsticks. And the second prize is you're going to win a Beatle Percussion Floppy Pad. And finally, 
the last prize is you get $100 cash money, baby. All right, so cash as in, you get to use it for any kind of music related expense or marching percussion activity related expense along those lines, right? So things like band fees, drum corps tuition, um, you could also use it for dr private drum lessons or like educational materials, whatever you wanna use it for, all right? You just can't buy hot Cheetos with it, all right? Or anything else that's not related to the activity. And no, you can't say, Carl, well, I eat hot che Cheetos for rehearsal. No, all right? So we'll figure out all the terms if you do indeed win. So you win, if you're chosen as a winner, you will win all three of those prizes. Now, what do you have to do to get all this stuff, all right? So all you have to do is you have to impersonate me. It shouldn't be that hard. Yeah, that was clean, woo, hell yeah! I guess I'm pretty one of a kind in terms of my personality. Okay, so remember, drop that note. Drop it like it's hot. Drop it like it's hot. Drop it like an EDM hook. <laughs> drop it like a penguin dropping in the Arctic Ocean. What? So, I'm sure you can figure out how to impersonate me, all right? So yes, you can make fun of me, you can totally roast me, that's what I want. I just wanna get a laugh out of everything. I wanna be able to laugh at myself. So uh, go ahead, go at it, and uh, you know, try to impersonate me and try to pretend to be me, uh, make things interesting and funny. So that is how I'm gonna choose the winner. Like I guess whoever makes me laugh the most or whoever you know, kind of impresses me with their creativity, whatever, right? So it's totally about um, the best kind of video you can do. So make sure you guys put out your best effort. Um, if this is something that you're, you know, you're not sure about impersonating or you're not sure, like first of all, you're not gonna, number one, you have to know that you're never going to be able to offend me, all right? So all, you know, just as long as it's good nature, like you're not trying to like, you know, do it, throw any kind of negative vibes or like seriously try to hurt me or anything like that. It'll be all good, all right? Like, it's all good fun. So just use good social awareness. You should be fine. If you want to know what social awareness is, go watch my other videos on social awareness. But anyways, <laughs> so that's the thing you got to do, all right? And what you have to do is this contest is on Instagram. So the video has to be posted on Instagram. And then you have to tag me, Carl Drum Tech. You have to tag Drumunity, okay, who I've partnered with. And I've also partnered with Bila Percussion. So you have to tag all three, okay? And then also you have to use the hashtag Carl's gonna be mad for obvious reasons, okay? Well, you know, we wanna put it all in one hashtag so we can all see it and that's how we're gonna kinda categorize everything. Like, not categorize, but pull it, put it all in one place so we can all see it, can all watch it, can all enjoy it and uh, that's where I'm going to choose the winner. So out of all the different uh, videos, hopefully I'll just be able to choose from that one hashtag and then go from there. All right, you got it, does that make sense? There is a deadline for this contest and we're gonna choose a winner on Monday, February 12th. That means all submissions have to be posted on Instagram by February 11th at 11.59 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Any submissions or any posts after that time will not be considered. So that's the terms, it's pretty easy. Let me know if you have any questions. Leave in the comments below or message me on Instagram, all right? So videos on Instagram, tag Carl Drum Tech, Drum, Drum Unity, Beal Percussion, use the hashtag Carl's gonna be mad and uh, that should do it, all right? And if we choose your video, you win all three prizes. What are the prizes again? Two pairs of drumsticks, one floppy pad, and a $100 cash money towards your activity expenses, all right? Not hot Cheetos. So hopefully you guys enjoy this video, all right? Hopefully this was helpful to you. If you're that person who gives somebody negativity, stop it, all right? Like you're literally not helping anybody by doing that. But who knows, maybe like, you know, if uh, you do that, maybe hopefully you make them stronger so that one day they'll be better than you and they can hold that over you. Or huh, just be positive, help everybody else out. If you're good, you're a certain level, like try to bring everybody else up to your level rather than trying to keep them down so you can stay up the top. Does that make sense? It's just a lot more fun when everybody's like having fun, being positive, you know, like and maybe if you don't like somebody, you don't like somebody, I get it. You know, you don't have to like everybody, but you can certainly respect them and you can certainly do your best to be a positive force in your drum line and in the universe, all right? So if you guys like this video, please do me a huge favor, hit that like button. 
If you have any questions or comments, leave it in the comments below. If you have not subscribed yet up to this point and you've watched all my videos, what the heck are you waiting for? I'm really upset. This really like, I internalize it. And I get so bummed out, I guess. No, not, not really. <laughs> but no, seriously, if you have not subscribed yet, I really would appreciate that. All right. And uh, if you feel like this video can help somebody else out, please do me a huge favor and share this video with them because it will help them out. It'll make the world a better place. I'm not saying, you know, you know, it's gonna make the, necessarily make the world a better place, but you know, if it does help out one person, hopefully it changes their reality, hopefully it gives them something to think about, hopefully that it improves their outlook on things, and if they become a better person, maybe they can, can bleed over to the next, and bleed over to the next, and yeah, eventually it does make the world a better place. So I guess that's my goal, all right? So cool, peace out, I'll see you guys in the next video, and if you, watch, if you wanna watch more videos, you can, all right, I'm always having trouble. I think it's over here. If not, it's over here. <laughs> um, or if you haven't subscribed yet, if you want to subscribe, make sure you subscribe here. Cool, peace out. See you on the next video and uh, catch you later.